Uh, PROFIC is an international project that includes six countries, three European and three Latin American, and 11 partners. It is coordinated by GCU, and especially GCU London, where we are at the moment. Um, and the Profit project focuses on intercultural competence, especially professional development of university staff and intercultural competence. Intercultural competence is a complex set of abilities that enable us to use diversity as an advantage rather than a challenge. So it includes not only international perspectives, but also local multicultural inclusion perspective, for example, indigenous cultures. So now we are coming also to different disciplines as being separate cultures. Within the project, we are doing a research of needs analysis, and also we are developing a unique customized professional development program to support staff, to support students for this very important global competence. We are now in the second year of the project and we are analyzing the, the data and preparing the uh, development that will be blended. What's very important for us, important for us that it's going to be open source. So all the outputs of our project, uh, toolkits, activities and the online platforms will be open source because we want to have impact wider than just Latin America, which is our focus for the project, we want to have an international impact with this project. This area is very important in higher education area, both in Latin America and in Europe. Capacity building of the Erasmus Plus project, the funding that we have to support this project, is focusing on non-European areas. But that doesn't mean that we, in Europe, also don't need that support and that level of development. In our previous projects, such as EMIC, Erasmus Mundus Intercultural Competence, we realize that there's too much focus on just students. We realize that staff need support in this very important area. We are working in a very global world. There's no longer local business. Even a smallest shop in the middle of a country um, is also international. Your products might be coming from abroad or you might be intercultural. You might be all from the same country but you come from different cultural backgrounds. You might have similar misunderstandings, similar potential conflicts, so it needs to be managed well. So we need to prepare students for this future world that they can cross these boundaries and use diver cultural diversity as an advantage. Because what our studies have shown that this could also lead to innovation and might increase employability of students. Within the project, we'll have short-term and long-term outcomes and impacts. Uh, within the project, first, our aim is the institution we are working with within the partnership. So we have three universities in Argentina, we have two universities in Mexico, as well as UDUAL, the network of universities, and two uh, universities as well in um, El Salvador. So within the project, the short-term outcome will be training the group of staff and helping them develop their intercultural competence. The second phase within the project is we call it pilot phase, where the staff who have gone through our professional development program will try to implement it. It's very important that our training is something that is relevant and that staff can use. Uh, so we will monitor and help them and assist them in implementing these activities with their students and adapt in whatever way they see fit. And it's very important in our project that we don't just aim on, uh, to, for, uh, to address academic staff. It's also administrative staff that work with students, that support the students when they have a conflict, that might be internal mobility, might be exchange students going and preparing them for work in different contexts. That will be the immediate outcomes. But longer term outcomes through our open source toolkit and the guidelines, we aim to support universities wider than just the uh, universities that we are working with within the project. Especially through UDUAL, we aim to Ad, uh, contact and reach out to other universities and show our open source toolkit and support them in potentially building a wider network on work in this area. And we also partner with some of European projects such as Equip with, that works on internationalizing the curriculum to have similar impact within institutions in Europe. So hopefully we'll have a wider network of impact and research in this boundary crossing area. The importance is multiple. You, you might start with them. Um, there are two ends of the need, and the need is essential and it's quite pertinent for this period. If you go to one end of interculturality, there's a wide potential of innovation, employability, doing businesses in different ways that might not be done in a homogenous environment. So that might be the, one of the reasons why we should invest more in this professional development. 
On the other hand, if left unattended, if we do not develop intercultural competence of our students and our staff, the other side of lack of cultural awareness and dealing with other cultures could even be situations such as xenophobia, war, conflicts, um, rise of separatist um, and disengaging movements that do not use diversity as an advantage. So it's quite important that we work on this now because we have seen movements across the world where there is rise of xenophobia, rise of willingness to work with other cultures and seeing that as something great and amazing that we see and there's a pressure to to work towards homogenous society and that's not the society we want to live in.